What's up, people? This, right here, this nut, is what caused my transfer case to fail. We're gonna jump right into this video. I'm gonna to explain to you how this particular nut caused $800 in damage, uh, $800 out of my pocket to have it repaired, and it was all due to this loose nut that was supposed to be torqued down. It's not supposed to come undone, but it did, it failed. So let's back up. For, for those of you that are subscribed, that have been following along, um, you already kind of know what's going on. I've been talking about it for the last couple days. You know what? This calls for a Red Bull. So I'm taking one out now. Early! I'm stuck in traffic anyway. So let's go back a little bit. Um, just over a year ago, my OEM transfer case failed. If you don't know, the OEM transfer case in the track hawk is kind of like it's Achilles heel. They're failing at a ridiculous rate. I found forums and websites and, and Facebook groups where people with stock track hawks, super low mileage. One guy literally drove his track hawk home from the dealership and his transfer case failed. And this isn't to deter anybody from buying one, if you can find one, but everything's got an Achilles heel. The transfer case was the Achilles heel of the Trackhawk. It actually allegedly delayed the launch of the Trackhawk in 2017 because they were burning up clutches. That's allegedly. I don't have any supporting documents to prove that, but that's what I gather from some of the forums where they, you know, the leaks and information comes from. So, all right. My OEM transfer case fails. What am I going to do? I've, um, I'm planning on building the motor at the time. I'm planning on going a lot of horsepower. We were already modified, putting down 800 wheel horsepower. We wanted to go more. So I reached out to Demon Performance. I spoke to Skip, great bunch of guys over there. And um, we went, we decided to go with a Paramount Performance built T case. Okay. Decided to go with them because hey, it's Paramount Performance. Paramount Performance has a just a, an incredible reputation. Um, I feel totally confident with anything that has the Paramount Performance stamp on it. You should too. All right. So we went and bought this uh, Paramount transfer case, and it cost us twenty six fifty shipped. I think I paid close to thirty five hundred total cost for everything. That includes having the uh, the transfer case um, shipped installed and then you also have to get the uh, relearn process flashed to your um, TCM I believe it's the TCM they flash it to at a dealership all right so in total cost and that was like 135 I think at uh, one of the Jeep dealerships nearby total cost came out to around 35 uh, give or take a hundred or so and um, we had the vehicle for with that transfer case, 14 months. We had not had a chance to take it to the track. We went one time and it was during, you know, the pandemic and they had everything shut down. We couldn't, we couldn't, uh, we couldn't get in that day. It sucked. You guys that were watching know I was pretty disappointed. 10 gallons of MS-109 wasted, All right? So fast forward to a couple of weeks ago. It was a Friday night driving home from work and all of a sudden I'm looking in my rear view mirror and I see this image right I can see smoke pouring out the back of my vehicle now immediately I thought uh oh problem it's the motor and that's oil I, I was nervous I'll be honest with you I'm like oh man something broke so Next day, literally the next day, it didn't look like oil. I mean, it was all dirty in the back of the window and everything. I took it around the back of the house. There's a shop there. 
guy's really cool. I said, hey, I throw you a couple dollars. You throw this up on the lift. I can take a look underneath, see what's wrong with my car. He said, sure. I gave him a 50 spot. We put it up. And this is what we saw. I saw this. And I realized right away that there was hydraulic fluid leaking from the transfer case at this knuckle, this point. So, gosh, shit. Not good. Um, contacted Dunfab Motorsports, had the vehicle towed to their location. And after a day of investigating, they sent me this first video, right? Now, number one, this knuckle is kind of heavy. It's not supposed to shift back and forth. It's not supposed to move, all right? It's supposed to stay butt up against the transfer case and flush on this end, all right? And you can see that. It's supposed to stay one side. It's not supposed to move. So the next video they send me is this. That nut, this nut was finger loose. This loose nut caused this knuckle to separate and slide and move back and forth, which then caused this seal to leak. Now, if you know anything about what this nut does or what how it's put on, it's supposed to be torqued to spec. Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure in the manual um, when they were rebuilding it. doesn't say anything about Loctite. There isn't like a crimp por portion on this where it's um, supposed to be like a torque, uh, torque nut one-time use, right? This freaking nut was... It somehow came loose. It somehow came loose. I'm not going to say it wasn't done the time it was built that would be erroneous to say that but it came loose this caused eight hundred dollars not in damage well i guess if you had to replace those parts this is what made my transfer case fail and anyone that watches this channel knows that i have not i haven't done any hard launches yet i haven't even had a chance to just dead stop get my draggy out which i'm going to do this weekend we're going to do some draggy testing on the street with the uh, street tune. See what we can muster on street tires in the street tune. See what we're doing 0 to 60 now. See what we're doing um, in a quarter mile. And uh, I, I plan on getting some race gas in this and also taking it to the track very soon before I break something else. <laughs> but I, I'm, still, I'm still blown away that this right here. 800 bucks to fix anyway I'm still very confident in my um, transfer case like I said at the beginning of this video it's built by Paramount Performance there's nothing else there's nothing wrong the clutches aren't failing it was still half of uh, from all accounts there's still half the, there was half the amount of fluid still in the T-case when they drained it um so that was a good sign. So it wasn't like the clutches were bone dry. There was nothing in there. So that was good. So we were lucky. We we're very, very lucky that I paid attention and saw that smoke and immediately got into the house and stopped driving. You know, some people don't pay attention very much. And had I just been oblivious to it, maybe during the day it would have been harder to see. Um, I probably would have just ignored it until the transfer case actually ended up locking up on me. Now, the sucky part about this whole thing is you can't smell it. Those of you that know what I'm talking about will immediately have that smell pop into your head. The transfer case, the hydraulic fluid, the cherry juice, it leaked out and got blown all over my AWE touring exhaust, caramelized. So, as I'm driving and the exhaust is heating up, I can smell it a little bit. It's like that burnt smell nothing I can do about it right now probably nothing I'm gonna do about it at all is to just deal with it until it completely burns off and it's gone and you know don't notice it anymore but as of right now it kind of sucks because at a dead stop for a minute at a light the windows are down you can kind of smell that that despair that destruction the it's just gonna it's like a, a, a reminder that I had to pay 800 bucks to fix this 
<laughs> Freaking nut. Listen, trust me. I'll be the... This is corny. I know I'm going to say this anyway, but... I'm the first guy. Don't mind busting a nut. But not like this. Not like this. I know. That was a bad dad joke. Watch out. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to be positive here, people. All right? I want to take this thing racing. And... Uh, it looks like we're finally going to get a chance to do it. Now, I don't know if I can get to the track this Sunday. It would be nice, but it's definitely coming up. The weather is turning cooler. The high of 78 right now today. It's going to go back down into the 50s. That means good DA. So hopefully we can get her to the track, but I definitely will be out tomorrow. I have to um, take the daily up to Car Optics in Northeast Philadelphia if you're local. The only place I go for window tint to get that daily driver of mine that I use for work the windows tinted I can't stand driving down the road doing a YouTube update and people are looking at like who's he talking to what the hell's he doing it's annoying I'm still not 100% comfortable doing this in public so when people are looking in and with their judgmental eyes definitely don't need it from driving down the road so we're going to have the windows tinted tomorrow I'm still on the fence about 15% factory type tint or maybe a little darker We'll make that decision tomorrow morning. We'll show you that whole video And we'll talk about car optics and why I recommend them uh, One of the best places in Philadelphia for window tint uh, Also Like I said, I have a couple of videos to do tomorrow. We have to still do some follow-ups on our new Blackview DR uh, 750 Blackview DR 750X two channel LTE plus. <laughs> it's the latest one out. I don't even know if it's at the it's on the market yet. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's in the daily. Absolutely love that dash cam. I do have to get a battery for it, and I have to finish wiring the uh, the rear camera. I have I wasn't able to put the rear camera in yet until after we get the damn window tinted, and then also we have the Blackview DR 900X two channel. I want to say LTE plus, or, no, or is it just plus? I don't know. We get the new newest 900X also that we're going to be um, uh, we're going to be testing, and we're going to be comparing the 900 to the 750, and why I still like the 750. Now the 900, I haven't tested yet. I have the 900X back here, two channel, which is 4K, but I don't have, do I do have the plus? I have the plus, I don't think I have the LTE model. I don't know, so far to date, the, the 750X LTE plus is my favorite dash cam, hands down. It never turns off. I don't know. We went with a transfer Nicole case update. Here I am talking about Blackview. Head on over to www.blackview.com slash shop. Look at all the cameras I'm talking about. I'll do a separate video about that later. Go check that out. Use our promo code East Coast Jeep SRT10 at checkout. Get yourself a dash cam and find out why for yourself why I rave about these cameras. But yeah, that's all I got today. Just remember when you see like a nut laying around on the street one day. Hey, East Coast Jeep may have driven by and drop one. <laughs> it's not how I wanted to, you know, break something. But at the end of the day, I'd rather it was this stupid freaking nut than um, the clutches burning out like the last one or something major going wrong. So, not bad. I still have 100% uh, confidence in uh, my Paramount Performance product. And... Uh, We'll keep you updated. So that's it. Let me know what you think below down in the comments section. We are back driving this, but it, today's Friday and it's only a one-time deal. I will be driving it daily, Monday through Friday. I just took it today just so I could do this update. Um, any questions below before you go, click that like button. Click the little bell notification right next to it. Down here, if you would, please click subscribe. That really helps me out. Last but not least, you guys and girls all be safe. That's all I got. I'm out.